Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing another what I eat in a day and I'm still on a diet. This is gonna be my second what I eat in a day diet edition. I've been on a diet for a couple weeks. I think it's been two weeks already. And if you were to ask me how it's going, it's actually going very well. I don't have any sugar cravings. I haven't had any, you know, junk food cravings or anything like that. Uh, but if I do crave something sweet, I'll have some fruit, I'll do a yogurt bowl or something like that. But it's actually going pretty well. I have noticed a difference. I mean, I see my body every day. I feel it around my stomach area. I had posted a picture on my Instagram story the other day. And I got a message saying that they noticed also that I'm toning down a bit. And that made me so, so happy because I'm like, I'm not the only one that notices. But yes, I do feel a difference in just two weeks. Guys, I'm telling you, if you're just consistent, if you eat lighter, if you go to the gym at least five to six times a week, you will see results. Today, I'm going to be doing a really delicious nutritional breakfast bowl right now. And I'm just going to be cutting up some sweet potatoes which I have to do first because that takes the longest to cook. I also want to know who else is doing the journey with me. If you're doing the journey with me, comment down below because I want to know how your journey is going. Um, what are you eating? Are you going to the gym? How many times? Um, all of that. So talk to me, guys. Talk to me. Let me know how everything's going. You guys, I'm actually bummed because yesterday I went to the grocery store and I wanted to make pickled onions because I love pickled onions so I was gonna do that last night I completely forgot because I wanted to add them into my breakfast bowl and you can add pickled onions on everything your avocado toast breakfast bowl your turkey bowl and I'm probably gonna do them today and they won't be ready till tomorrow I like to let them sit overnight so the onions can really soak up the flavor of the juice so yeah I'm gonna do that today and then they'll be ready for tomorrow's breakfast. Okay, now that we have them nice and seasoned, we're gonna throw them in the air fryer on 400 for 12 minutes. I'm waiting for my water to boil because I'm gonna add two eggs. I'm craving some boiled eggs. Sweet potatoes are done. Only took 12 minutes. My spinach and bacon is done as well. Now you could just eat spinach by itself, but I wanted to add some bacon for some more protein. I'm just gonna have about a third of the avocado because half of it is just way too much. Like it's a huge avocado. I'm just gonna have half of half. This is my breakfast bowl. It took about 20 minutes to make. Half of a sweet potato, the other half I'm gonna have tomorrow morning. I'm so sad I don't have my pickled onions, but tomorrow, this with pickled onions, 10 out of 10. I did my coffee very simple today. It's just coffee and creamer, brown sugar creamer. Adding a little bit of ketchup to my potatoes. I also wanted to mention, um, I think it was my last video, someone commented that they thought I lived in Chicago, but I think that person thinks I lived in I live in Chicago because 
I went to go visit over there and Alan has family that lives over there. I think she was confused because the last video I showed that I went to Clydeborn Park, which is here in Dallas, Texas. Um, but yeah, I was born and raised in Dallas, Texas for those who don't know, but I can't wait to go to Chicago again. It's so beautiful and there's so much to do there. I love sweet potatoes. I just love the sweetness of it. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, it is now time for lunch. It's 1.40 p.m. And I haven't had a snack yet. I'm gonna have a snack after lunch. I made ceviche for dinner last night. And when I make ceviche, I make a lot. That way I have a lot of leftovers. Alan took some leftovers to work and I'm gonna have the rest right now. But it's like a perfect meal for when you're on a diet as well because it's literally just tilapia or you can use shrimp. And then with lime juice and vegetables. I put red onion, cucumber, and cilantro. You can add tomato, but I don't like to add tomato in mine. Al and I really enjoy eating that. And we would eat that a lot even when we're not on a diet. But right now that I am on a diet, on a lo like a low-carb fat deficit, I feel like it's still a really good meal to have when you're trying to lose weight. So I just get my tilapia at Walmart. It's just a big bag of tilapia and it comes, I think, with nine tilapias. I used the whole bag and then I used about 17 to 18 limes. I have the recipe that I do um, in this video and then I also do a mango salsa on the side because it tastes so good. That is what I'm having for lunch today. I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out and put it together. These are the tostadas I use. They're just the Mission brand. This smells so good. It's just like the perfect sweet and savory salsa. I cut too much avocados yesterday and I threw the rest in here because I didn't want to waste it. So it did get a little bit brown, but it's still good. Here goes my first one. Mm. One of the reasons why I love having a lot of leftovers is because the next day you don't have to worry about cooking. I'm now making my second one. Okay, I'm quickly going to make myself a snack. It's 3.30 and I'm going to have one of these rice cakes. So I have apple cinnamon and then I have like the brown rice lightly salted ones. I'm leaning towards the lightly salted ones because I'm going to add some almond butter and some banana slices on it and i want something salty and sweet together that is what i'm having to snack on and i'm gonna have two of these these are from trader joe's and these you can get at any grocery store they're the quakers brand savory and sweet snack it's very light but it's gonna keep you satisfied until dinner time so I actually went to a store and I only went to go get two things I need garlic powder because I cook everything with garlic powder the other thing I got is some edamame I'm making chicken teriyaki today for dinner with some rice, broccoli, and edamame on the side. So, need that. I love edamame, it's so good. But I did wanna show you yesterday, I went to Tom Thumb, and if you're like me and you like to get the Starbucks cups, I don't like to get all the cups. I'm, I'm not like that obsessive, but um, if I really, really, really like the cup, then I'll get it. This is one of them. This is the one I usually carry everywhere with me. This one that I got yesterday at Tom Thumb. I went to go get a few things at Tom Thumb yesterday. And sometimes Tom Thumb carries the new cups first, I've noticed. When I saw this cup, I was like, that's me in a cup. It was just so, so pretty. Uh, now this is the new one that I'm going to be carrying everywhere with me, so... This one's gonna be put up for a while because I love, love, love the one I just got yesterday. It's this one. It's so pretty. It has a lavender straw. This is how it looks. And it's the same texture as this one. If I can find the link to this one, I will link it down below. It even goes with my nails. Look at my nails. 
Okay, enough about the Starbucks cups. They're pretty, but now I'm not gonna eat dinner yet, but I am gonna start prepping the chicken just because I wanna leave it marinating for a good 30, 40 minutes. And you can buy your teriyaki sauce already made, but it's so easy to make it yourself and I wanna make it a healthier way. So I'm gonna use all the ingredients I have here, mix it together, so I'm gonna show you right now. I've already washed my chicken thighs. When making chicken teriyaki, I prefer to use chicken thighs. They're just juicier, more tender. But as you can see, chicken thighs do have some pieces of fat. So all the larger pieces of fat I'm gonna take off. If there's just a little bit of fat on like some parts, that's okay. I'm just gonna take off the big chunks Now that I've removed most of the fat, I'm now gonna cut each chicken breast into small cubes. So two for Alan and two for me. Okay, now that the chicken is all cut, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. Not too much salt, just because I'm gonna be adding some soy sauce in the marinade and soy sauce is already salty. So add just a little bit of salt and then adding some pepper. Lastly, we're adding some garlic powder. Now that we have our garlic powder, salt, and pepper on our chicken, we're gonna set that aside and begin making our marinade. Adding a third cup of soy sauce. I love a lot of garlic, so I'm gonna be doing about a tablespoon and a half. A tablespoon of honey. I'm gonna sprinkle some ginger powder, pepper, and that's it. You just have to mix it together and then we're gonna throw it into our chicken. going to close it up and I'm gonna leave it marinating for a good 30 to 40 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to start getting the rice ready and boiling the broccoli and cooking the edamame. Okay, broccoli is boiling. Now I'm gonna cook some edamame. If you didn't know, edamame is so good for you and it's high in protein for just a half a cup. It has nine grams of protein, which is really, really good. 12 carbs, but those are healthy carbs and two grams of fat. You can even snack on these. You can throw them in the air fryer, microwave, or toast them on a pan and season it with whatever seasonings you like. I'm just gonna be seasoning mine with salt, pepper, and a little bit of crushed pepper. starch everywhere yeah it's all over my sleeve and all over the sink I'm telling you I'm super clumsy look at the mess I literally made this flew out of my hand and I'm not surprised it did because I'm very clumsy Home from the gym and explains 
this messy look but I did lower body today and I'm debating if I should show you my lower body at home first or lower body at the gym first so comment down below which one you want to see first and I'll put that out for you next video um but yeah that's all that I ate today I also showed you how to do the pickled onions I know I'm gonna devour those pickled onions but let me know if you enjoyed this video um more to come like this for sure but that is all for today I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give this video a thumbs up and I will see you on the next one bye guys